So I'm running out of SSD space on my cell phone because I only have a 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So I got this SanDisk Extreme. Uh, make some pretty big claims about speed. There's a bunch of fine print that I'm not going to read. So it's a U3 card. V30. Um, <clears throat> so it should be pretty fast anyways. That's probably the same specs as a um, uh, Samsung. But anyways, let's go ahead and just open it up here. Oh wait, let's use the dotted line. Perfect. And yet, oh wait, there we go. It's usually, Yep. And in theory, we should just be able to separate this. Oh gosh, this is so frustrating. <clears throat> yeah. All right, there it is. Very small. Try to focus a little better on that. So 256 gigabyte. U3, and this is a, a genuine card, not some scam. Um, so it wasn't necessarily very cheap. I could have got a Samsung card at a cheaper price, but I wanted to try SanDisk out because they do claim to be faster. And I'll kind of compare that to my old card, which isn't necessarily a fair comparison because it has been written to over the years. So um, I, I've noticed that uh, solid state storage just tends to get slower after you've written to it quite a bit, but we'll see. So to test the uh, performance of this in Windows, I'm going to use this USB 3 Transcend uh, card reader as a micro SD card uh, slot. And I'll just use that directly and we'll see how fast it is on Windows. And then I'll run some benchmarks on my phone. So I'm just going to run eight Atto, Ato disk benchmarks. You normally use this for hard drives or SSDs, but um, let's just go ahead and see what it does on uh, this memory card really quick. And I'm using version 4.0.0.0 F2. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and run. Um, this is more appropriate for as actually SSDs, uh, but we'll go ahead and run that as well. And yeah, probably about the same uh, write speed results here. One thing to keep in mind is they, they claimed on the package up to 160 megabyte per second read speeds, but I think that only works with their proprietary uh, SD card reader, which I don't have personally, um, but I, I think they're actually fairly cheap. So if you really needed to read from your uh, SanDisk cards a little bit faster, it might be worth investing in one of those. And I don't know about this 4K test. It may not actually, this, this may be a waste of time to kind of to, to run this test because it is going to be so slow. Um, yeah, as we saw here, we were only getting like two megabytes per second, right? And yeah, it lines up perfectly with what we got here. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, skip forward to the results here. Uh, as you can see, the sequential write and read are pretty good. Um, access time on this card is also excellent, even through the um, USB serial adapter, less than one millisecond read and about one millisecond write. Okay, so now I'm just going to test this old, um, my old Samsung U U3 card just to see how much slower it is uh, potentially compared to the SanDisk.
So as we finish this uh, other AS SSD benchmark, um, <clears throat> one of the things you can see is that the uh, write performance on the uh, Samsung card is actually not too bad, um, even given the age of this card. Uh, it's very strange. It seems to prefer 256 kilobyte blocks. Um, I'm not sure why, but its performance is a little inconsistent. Uh, you can see sometimes it'll drop down to 46, 48. Um, I'm wondering if that's just some kind of garbage collection the card is doing internally, but the read performance is, is going to be about the same. Um, so yeah, the uh, SanDisk definitely has a better write performance, which is really where um, th things matter when you're working with 4K video. It, at 60 FPS or, or, or higher. Okay, so I just ran the benchmark on the old um, Samsung uh, SD card and um, some interesting results here. So we compare it uh, side by side to the uh, SanDisk. We see the SanDisk is actually much better at um, handling smaller uh, file I.O. sizes. Um, so, for example, the uh, 64 kilobyte, it tended to, on the Samsung, level off at 64 kilobytes, but the, um, I guess that's about the same here, but you see the smaller block sizes, uh, you can still get about 17 megabytes per second um, write speed. So, overall, the SanDisk handles um, smaller writes much better than the uh, uh, Samsung card. And if we look at... Uh, this benchmark, obviously the write speed on the SanDisk was a little faster, uh, but not by a whole lot. But what's interesting is the access time. Um, the writes on the Samsung card were about 8.4 milliseconds, and on the uh, SanDisk it was only about 1.2. So that's very encouraging, um, especially if you're going to use this for Android um, as part of you know, part of the file system just on some apps, uh, it's going to perform probably a lot better. But we'll see it. I'm going to run some actual Android benchmarks on this to see how well it performs. So I'm using an app on my phone called Cross Platform Disk Test, which works pretty well, I found, compared to some of the other ones I've looked at. So I'm going to look at the Samsung card that's currently in my phone. One thing we see is the sequential write is only about 21 megabytes per second, and you can also see that it's very inconsistent, um, which is interesting. The sequential read is not as bad. Um, random write performance is 121 kilobytes per second, and random read is about 3.8 megabytes per second. So that doesn't seem very good um, in the random write performance. Uh, memory copy doesn't really mean anything here. So now we're going to look at the SanDisk card, and we see that its sequential write is much faster at um, 43 megabytes per second. Uh, I don't know why I don't have graphs here. or They're a little harder to read, but um, if, if you look closely, it is more consistent. Um, it doesn't like spike up and down. The sequential read is also a little bit better. Um, but what's surprising is the random writes and random reads are much, much faster on uh, this card. Although I don't quite understand the uh, random read on this because it says 800 megabytes per second, so that's kind of weird. About these adapters, um, I don't know about you, but I think it's kind of wasteful that every time you buy a micro SD card, it seems like they usually always include these. Well, I mean, I've bought a lot of SD cards over the years, so I, I don't know what to do with these. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, any thoughts? <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video um, and that this helps you make a decision between the SanDisk or Samsung cards in your next uh, mobile phone upgrade. Is it worth the money, the extra money? Maybe not, um, but I mean, I think it was only like an extra 10 bucks more, so I just figured if it's going to be on my phone for another year or two, it's probably worth it.